Okay, continuing the channel tradition. Zero Eleven here, and today I'm gonna be showcasing my top 25 cards. It's that time of year where I showcase my top 25 cards. I believe this is the third straight year I've done this, so I might as well carry on the tradition. So this year, I opened a lot of boxes, a lot. Now granted, there's certain cards I've kept, and there's certain cards I've gotten rid of. Example, the Red Wings booklet from the cup, I don't own that anymore. Stuff like a Kale McCarr canvas, another larger pull, do not own that either. Some cards I just get rid of after I pull them if I don't really want to keep them. That being said, there are cards I have kept that I've pulled, and there are cards that I purchased. Now, didn't go too crazy with singles this year. Really just focusing on the channel and getting content out. That was the number one priority and will continue to be the number one priority. But I did pick up a few things this year, including something that literally came in the mail yesterday. But yeah, let's get on with the top 25 cards. Starting at number 25. One of my newest cards, the Carey Price Young Guns. I genuinely wanted this card. If you haven't seen the video, I'd highly recommend checking it out. This is one of those cards I've been chasing for a long time. Really glad to get it. And it just barely cracks the number 25 spot. And yes, I am going by value. Some cards are kind of hard to price, like this Ehlers. I put it in here as an honorable mention. It's the inscribed version. I can't really put a good value on it. So I decided to have it as an honorable mention. But yeah, the background is honorable mentions. But yeah, with that being said, let's continue on. And before I continue on, I will say where I got them from. I'm not going to put up values because some of these are pretty subjective. But I will say where I've gotten these cards from. And... This Carey Price Young Guns pulled it. Next up, number 24, is a 1718 Future Watch of Brock Besser. I bought this one. His stuff has dipped substantially. It's going for about $100 less than it did when this stuff came out. I thought getting this for around $230 in summer of 18 was a solid price, but these go for quite a bit less now. But there you go, there's a Brock Besser Future Watch Auto. Next up is a new one for the collection. Is this Jack Eichel Future Watch. This stuff is red hot right now. He's been playing great. This is an update Future Watch. This was inserted in 1819 SPA, even though it is a 1516 card. Upper Deck has the signing rights, so now he has autographs with Upper Deck. And there is a Jack Eichel Future Watch Auto. And on the back there, it says 1516 SPA, but it says copyright 2019. I got this card from a card show. Number 22 is this Brendan Perlini 101 Shield Auto from Exquisite Collection, which is inserted in the cup. Now, I got this from the Fall Expo. I do collect Perlini. He is approaching obscurity, though. He's, like, on the fourth line on the worst team in the league right now. It's not looking good for him, but there you go. There's a Brendan Perlini 101 Shield. Speaking of Shield, at number 21, we got the Cup Black 101 Shield. So this is a Black Parallel 101 Shield of Brendan Perlini. And it's number 21 on my list. And these are both from 1617, the cup. And both of which I got from the Expo at different times. Which I find interesting, but there you go. Alright, number 20 is a Patrick Line Future Watch Auto. Line the Playmaker. But yeah, I've had this one for a couple years now. Part of my 1617 Future Watch set. I got this one from eBay. Alright, number 19. One of the older cards in my collection is this Jonathan Tays Future Watch Autograph. From 0708 SPA. Got this from the 2010 Spring Expo in Toronto. Oh yeah, there's a Jonathan Tate's Future Watch Auto. One of the cards that I'll keep forever. Jonathan Tate's Future Watch. Number 18 is this Marc-Andre Fleury Future Watch Auto. There you go, Marc-Andre Fleury. Just pulled his Sign of the Times rookie auto. So here's the Future Watch Auto. I'm not opening any more 0304 SBA. I bought this card off of somebody on Instagram. So there's a Fleury Future Watch Auto. Next up is a Patrick Kane Future Watch Auto. Patrick Kane, one of my favorite players, got the Future Watch. And eventually I do want to get another one of these. I know if you want to find a Gem Mint one, they go for four times more than what the Raw ones go for. But eventually I want to get another Patrick Kane Future Watch. But for now, it's number 17 on the list. Number 16 is a John Tavares Future Watch. Got this one off eBay when he was still an Islander. I got it in 2017. But there we go, there's a Tavares Future Watch Auto. Pretty sweet card, definitely glad to have this one. And yeah, there's a lot of future watches in the list. I will do a but with a twist video probably early next year. I'm recording this literally New Year's Eve. But yeah, there you go. There's the bars. Next up is an Evgeny Malkin future watch auto. I believe I bought this one from a card shop. He's hot right now. He's playing really well. He's number 15 on my list for top 25 cards. Evgeny Malkin. All right, next up is not a future watch. It's a cup RPA of Morgan Riley. From 13-14 the cup, number to 249. Pretty sure it's a logo patch. Looks like that's the N. 
from the Maple Leafs logo. There you go, Morgan Riley. I used to collect Riley. I still have a handful of Riley stuff, but this is probably the best one I have. And it's probably my best cup rookie patch auto. Not my best cup card, but my best cup rookie patch auto. There you go, Morgan Riley, cup RPA. And Riley, I got this one off of eBay, like a lot of these cards. Next up is a William Nylander, Future Watch Auto Inscribed. Another card I got off of eBay. I actually had the regular Future Watch and Nylander, but upgraded to the Inscribed a few months after SPA came out. But there you go, there's a Nylander, Future Watch Auto Inscribed. Next up is a Nathan McKinnon, Future Watch Auto. And it's lower on the list because the auto ain't great. Do not put your cards in direct light for extended periods of time. I bought this card from a card shop and this card was sitting in light for I don't know how long. Got this card for 75 bucks. The auto isn't that great. That's why it's lower on the list. But there you go, there's a Nathan McKinnon Future Watch Auto. Okay, number 11 is this Carter Hart Future Watch Auto Inscribed. Still haven't seen the black anywhere, but there's a Hart Future Watch Auto Inscribed. His stuff goes for a lot. I'm not sure if it's really warranted, but I got the Hart Future Watch Inscribed. I got this one off of eBay as well. All right, top 10. Here's a Leon Dreisaitl Future Watch Auto. Another eBay purchase. I believe I got this like a year and a half ago. Here's a Dreisaitl Future Watch Auto, 1415 SPA. McKinnon's 1314 and Hart is 1819. But yeah, there's a Dreisaitl. Extremely hot start to the 1920 season. He and McDavid have cooled down a bit as of this recording. But yeah, there you go. There's a Leon Dreisaitl Future Watch Auto. His stuff has risen substantially. All right, number nine, a recent poll. We got the Maple Leafs goalie booklet from 1112 Contenders, featuring Johnny Bauer, Grant Fuhr, Felix Potvin, Cujo, Eddie Belfort, and James Reimer. But yeah, automatically one of my favorites. And it cracks the top 10. It's number nine on my list. There you go, the Maple Leafs goalie booklet, original six. All right, here's number eight, another McKinnon Future Watch Auto. I got this one when I bought the entire 1314 SB Authentic set. This one is still in the redemption tape. McKinnon is a redemption. And if you just want to compare the autographs right there, you can really see what the sun has done to this card. But here's a McKinnon Future Watch. I've never touched it. Seems like only McKinnon himself and an upper deck employee have touched this one. That's why it's higher up. This one, I should definitely get graded eventually. I need to get most of these graded eventually. But yeah, you can really see the difference. Do not put your cards in sunlight that long or else this will happen. But yeah, McKinnon, the one in good shape is number eight. All right, number seven. This is a new purchase, never before seen. Unless you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what I have here, but just purchased this after giving up on opening any more 1819 SBA, decide to buy this card. Say, screw it, I'm sick of this, I'm just gonna buy the card. We got an Elias, finally. We got an Elias Future Watch Auto, Beckett graded 9.5. It's not a true gem. The corners are nine. Everything else is 9.5. But yeah, I finally got an Elias Future Watch. I'm finally making some good progress towards the 1819 set. Still planning on finishing it before 1920. That being said, I'm not going hard on 1920. Might just get a couple boxes this year and get singles because that's probably the best way to go. But yeah, there's Elias. Finally got Elias. All right, number six. My best poll ever. This is this Connor McDavid? 1617 the cup. Foundations, quad jersey auto, number to 15. Another card that's not going anywhere. Obviously, I opened this myself when I opened 1617 the Cup. But yeah, the McDavid quad jersey auto from the Cup. There you go, number six. All right, now the top five. This card was actually behind McDavid last year. Now it's ahead of it. It's the Mitch Marner Future Watch Auto inscribed from 1617 SBA. The inscribed version. Got this one off of eBay very early on when 1617 SBA came out. Glad to have this one. I had the opportunity to get another one for 300, which by the way, I believe I got this one for, and I didn't take it, so I do regret. But there you go, there's Marner, Future Watch Auto, inscribed. All right, number four is the Mitch Marner Future Watch Auto Black Variation. I made the attempt to get the Matthews, got outbid very hostilely, then the person messaged me trying to get this off my hands. And I politely said, frick right off. Out of spite, I'm never getting rid of this card. No single card has more interest than this card. So many people have bugged me for this card. I'll say it right now, I'm keeping this card out of spite. I'm keeping it in my collection. Yeah, I'm pretty salty I lost that auction, but yeah, let's continue on here. All right, number three, we got a Connor McDavid. Future Watch Auto, 1516 SBA, graded nine. This is probably my most movable higher end card. Well, it is high end. The subs aren't too bad for a nine. There is no 8.5 in there. 
It's all nines and then 9.5 on the surface. But yeah, McDavid, Future Watch Auto. I got McDavid from the Spring Expo in 2019. I should also mention I got Marta from the Expo. I forget if it was spring or fall, but I got it in like 2018 Expo. But yeah, McDavid, Future Watch Auto is a number three. And yeah, if I have the opportunity to get a 9.5 for not a hostilely ridiculous price, I'm going for it. I'm gonna move this and get the 9.5 because I do want a 9.5. Because, speaking of 9.5, a number two, we got the Sidney Crosby. Future Watch Auto, Beckett graded 9.5. Bought this card off of my brother. Now the subs, it's not a true gem, it's kind of sad, but regardless, it's a gem mint Crosby. Got this about a year ago. It's my second best card, it could actually be my best. I don't know because the other card I don't really have a firm value on, but this card is definitely one of my top cards, Crosby, Future Watch Auto. And number one is the Austin Matthews Future Watch Auto inscribed. October 12th, 2016, the four goal game. And yes, I know Marner is also October 12th, but that was Matthew's game. Got the four goals. This is my top card. And yes, I got this card from the Expo as well. Seems like most of my big cards are from the Expo. I did a controversial trade, though, to get this one. I traded a regular Matthews Future Watch and a McDavid Future Watch for this. Zero regrets, honestly. I'm not going to be able to get another one of these. Like, I can get another regular Matthews. I can get another McDavid. I'm not going to be able to get another one of these unless... I want to pay a lot. But yeah, that's my number one card in the collection. So yeah, guys, there's my top 25 cards. This will be my final video of 2019. Wishing everybody a happy new year. Hopefully my channel doesn't get fricked up the bum tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. Stupid cop of crap. But yeah, guys, really do appreciate the support. So yeah, I'll end it on that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.